No, because it's at. Hi, everyone. So, it's been a long time since I filmed a car video. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been. Like, since I filmed in general. But it's been a long time since I've been in the car, and I'm by myself today. Um, which I've never actually done that before, so this, this feels weird being in the car filming by myself. But, today, I feel like this was like a a thing a bit ago. Um, but I wasn't on YouTube when it was like a thing. Now I am. So, but anyway, um, there was like, Billie Eilish did this interview and it was like the same interview every year for like three years, I think it was, three or four years. And a lot of people did that their own take on it and did their own sort of thing. So I'm going to be doing my one because now that I'm doing YouTube, why not? My name is Kelsey Nadine Louise. So I'm, both my middle names come from my aunt. Today is Wednesday, the 12th of April, 2023. I am 16 years old currently i have i believe 300 tiktok followers my favorite tiktok is probably um the tiktok where it um it's like oh, i wish i had people had i wish people had a 30 second trailer so i can see what i'm getting myself into like whenever i'm sad whenever i'm upset i put that one on and i watch that and i'm like laughing i absolutely love that one it makes me smile all the time um my favorite memory i've got a few actually i've got like a few memories that are like my favorites i think one of my top ones is definitely um meeting kaylee i look up just for the just for the pure fact that i have never like got on with someone so quickly like i did with kaylee and what we were talking about was some of the funniest shit ever and the fact that we were able to both sit there and talk about it blows my mind that's got to be that's one of my top favorite memories second one oh two come to mind two come to mind i probably have to say yeah when i met hayley and um harry potter world harry potter world oh i'm obsessed with harry potter oh i went to harry potter world that's definitely top moment definitely a favorite memory of mine and then yeah and then um for my leaving trip for year 11 we went thought park and i think it was like it was like one of the last proper days that we all spent as a year group and like yeah we went up we went all together and it was like little groups like you know your friends and you went off and whatnot but like the fact that we were there for me as a school that we were there as a school it was just kind of like a fun day it was like carefree one of the last times we were all gonna see each other and it was just such a happy day so that's definitely definitely a top tier moment advice i'd give my younger self i actually heard this this is more like a quote but i heard this and i feel like my, my younger self definitely needs to hear this Live your life with oh wells, not what ifs. Um, and I feel like my young, my younger self definitely needed to hear that, and I feel like she should have lived by that as much as I do now, because there were so many opportunities that I so wanted to take, or people that I wanted to talk to, or things that I wanted to do, but I was sat there thinking, oh, but like what if it doesn't turn out the way i want it to or what if people think i'm weird or what if people like you know so i just didn't do them i didn't take them opportunity i didn't talk to them people you know but it's like i wish that i had done it or spoke to them people or took them opportunities and been able to sit here and say people thought i was weird oh well people didn't like me oh well because i was i'm able to sit here and say that but also be able to sit here and say that I've done more than what I have. My main goal for next year mm. 
feel like my main goal for next year at the moment is just to I was gonna say pass my level one but I've got to do that this year that's this year's goal <laughs> within the next year then pass level one yeah within the next year my biggest goal within the next year is probably to pass my level one um and get my certificate for that and I want to travel during the summer even if it's yeah travel even if it is just like as simple as like going to different places in the UK I'm fine with that um I just want to travel and do some more things so I would definitely say that my biggest goal within the next year is to pass level one and go and do more things and go and see more places my biggest goal that I've achieved so far this year oh my, my biggest goal that I've achieved in the year is probably definitely bringing my HB1C down definitely I struggled with that so much like my HB1C was sitting at like a hundred and I, I well I brought that down and I've never been so happy with myself in my life that is definitely my biggest achievement so far like the amount like I walked into my appointment with my doctor so happy I was smiling I got stickers I love stickers I got stickers um I genuinely never been so happy with myself like I was then and like the build up to it like the actual appointment leaving the appointment you know, all of that. I'd never felt so happy. Like genuinely, never felt never felt so happy than when I did then. For the fact that I bought my H one C down. My favorite movie. I've got two. I've got two movies. Um, definitely Harry Potter. The whole Harry Potter like franchise, like Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts, all of them. Absolutely love them. The thought of them. Oh. Um, but I'm also a Disney girl for and through. Like I love Disney, but my favourite is um, Beauty and the Beast. And the reasoning for that is I don't know what actually got me into Beauty and the Beast, but it's just like it's just a good film, and I just prefer that film over all of the other Disney films, Disney princess films, should I say? Um, but I feel like a reason why I've like kept it as my favourite is because it just kind of reminds me of my nan. Because me and my nan watch that all the time. Like, that's like recorded on the Skybox. I've got it in film, you know. If I ever go round to my nan's, we have a little film day. Beauty and the Beast is the first film we put on. If, like, I'm ill or something, I'll put that one on. And it just, remi- like, it just reminds me of my nan. And it brings me so much comfort. So it's definitely a favourite favorite song slash artist um i've got a few artists that i'm absolutely loving at the moment um my all-time favorite artist or group is little mix like i'm sorry call me cringy call me whatever sorry i'm a little mix girl through and through um but there's been like some new ones that i've been like not like not new to like the scene but like i've like new to me like i've been listening to them more recently yeah i'm gonna butcher saying her name i really don't want to like i feel like i will i don't know if i will but i feel like i will nessa barrett um i'm loving her music and i had listened to some of her songs before but i don't know recently i'm just loving her and i'm listening to her all the time chase atlantic oh stop favorite song I have a few, this is the thing, like, I have a few, um, would say Nessa Barrett, Tide of California, I absolutely love that song, Tide of California and I Wanna Die, I love that, I love them songs, I don't know why, but I'm loving, loving them at the moment, um, Church by Chase Atlantic. That one's always going. You ask my mother, that one is always, always going. Um, Three Nights by Dominic Fike. 
that one's going on. That one's on repeat at the moment as well. Yeah. Um, and then probably my guitar by New Rules because I feel like that that one's I feel like that one is such a different song compared to the other ones. But that one's just on repeat all the time. Um Biggest Regret. I think and this sounds I feel like this is like the most cliche thing to say. But biggest regret for me will probably be caring too much about what other people think and that is definitely like such a cliche thing to say I feel like so many people say it. it's like oh my god I just care too much blah, blah, blah. but no like genuinely I do feel like caring about what other people think is such a big issue for a lot of people and I'm definitely one of those people like I just care way too much like I'm such a people pleaser and if the outcome of my actions don't help or they don't help other people or make other people like me more then I just feel so shit about myself because they don't like me more than they already do um so I feel like that is definitely like a a big regret for me which kind of goes like hand in hand with advice I'd give my younger self because I cared so much about what other people thought I didn't do some of the things that I wanted to do or say the things that I wanted to say, or just like, even be me, like, I've got like a loud laugh, so, because people didn't like it, I wouldn't laugh so loudly. A place I'd most like to visit, I don't know, anywhere really, I just I, I've literally in the whole 16 least 17 years of the life I've lived I've only left the country once and that was to go to Spain and I didn't really even see much of Spain like we went to Lanzarote which I think is in Spain oh can you imagine if it's not in Spain I have to look that up but yeah where we went to Lanzarote and it was like a more like a volcano area like there's a lot of volcanoes and rocks and that kind of thing so the only way that you could actually do stuff and like have a like a good time i guess and entertain i'd more say was either to stay at the resort we were staying at or to go to like a water park um because it was just kind of like volcanoes and hills and that kind of thing so realistically, place I'd most like to visit. I just want to leave the fucking country, and I'd be grand. I'd be happy. Favorite color? I've got two favorite colors: purple and yellow. Purple. Don't ask me why. It's just a color I like. Yellow. I feel like yellow is such a happy color. I can't look at yellow and not be happy. I just can't so yellow Mm mhm I'm good I'm okay I've definitely had better days but I've definitely had worse that makes sense like I'm not as happy as I was like a month ago but I'm not as upset as I have been in the past so I'm doing quite good I'd say out of 10 I'm like a good 6 right now which I, I feel like that's good that's not bad. So I have, I think it's nine piercings. I think, yeah, four in each year. And then my nose piercing. Um, and I haven't got any toes. I would like to get a few more piercings. I want to get a few more ear piercings. So right now I've literally just got four low piercings in each ear. I'd like to get a few more. Like I want to get an industrial bar. And I want to get my helix re-pierced just on the other ear. Um, so I did have that and that one closed up. That was so sad. Um, so I'd like to get that re-pierced. And I want to get an industrial bar. Um, tattoos. Oh, I want to get so many tattoos. All my tattoos I want to get have got a meaning to me. And they mean something to me. I want to get so many tattoos. I haven't got any, but I want to get so many tattoos. It does change every now and then, like, I'm not going to lie, it does change. And it won't be the same. But, um, someone that has stayed the same, and I don't want to butcher his name, but I feel like I will, is Aston Merigold. 
I want to meet him. Um, just because, like, I don't know why. I genuinely don't really know why. I do feel like it is kind of like to please little Kelsey, just because, like, I loved JLS. No, I'm single. I'm not crushing on anyone. There's, like, there's good-looking boys and girls. There definitely is. But I'm not dating anyone. I'm not crushing on anyone. I'm single. I'm happy staying single. Um, I feel quite comfortable in myself and what I'm doing. That I don't need to be with anyone right now. If someone was to come and change my mind and were to show me that they can be in a relationship with me and give me what I want and treat me right, then, you know, we'll think about it when we get there. At the moment, I'm single and I'm quite happy being single. With everything that I have completed, I feel like I would be okay. If life ended tomorrow, I'd be okay. You know, I've, there's things that I've done. I'm happy with what I've done, you know. But I'd be upset because there's stuff I want to do that I haven't done or achieved yet. People that I want to meet that I haven't. Um, yeah, there's just things that I haven't done, haven't witnessed. Journeys I haven't embarked on, you know. I'm still waiting, so I'd be upset, but in what I have completed, I'd be okay with it. Last song played, I actually remember this because it was on less than 20 minutes ago. It was Nessa Barrett, Tyler, California. To think of all the positives and to not change. And I say that because, like, think of all the positives. It's just general. That's that. You know, think of all the positives. You know, it's quite easy to dwell on the negatives and what are there. But it's harder to see the positives and to actually sit there and think of them and appreciate them in a sense. Like, even in, like, yourself. Like, it's quite hard. It's quite easy to nitpick at what you can't do. But to sit there and actually think of what you can do, that's a lot harder. So I feel like just focus on the positives more than anything else. And just, like, don't change. Doesn't matter who comes in and out of your life. Doesn't matter who you thought was going to be there and wasn't. Who you speak to, who you date, who is in your home every day. You know, who you live with. It doesn't matter who's there. What matters is that you're happy, and if you're happy being yourself, then you be yourself, and you don't change. So, yeah. So, in a year's time, which will be the 12th of April, 2024, I'll update you guys, and I'll let you know how life's going. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I've literally got to edit this tonight. <laughs> Bye.